three for my January project life. And yeah, so if you haven't seen part one or part two, you can go back and check those out. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm not doing weekly project life. I am doing a monthly this year. Um, so this is why it's part three. It kind of takes me about half an hour to do a one page spread of my project life. So this is the third page that I've done. Um, I also did a little insert as well. I haven't videoed that because it was just four photos and then um, I wrote out um, pretty much just an overview of the month. So I'm trying to keep it pretty clean and simple this this month. Um, yeah, not too many embellishments. And yeah, that's about it. These wood veneers here were all from a, what is it? the reject shop here in Australia and it was a pack of about eight or nine wood veneer words and they were three dollars so that's a really really good bargain and I should have got more of them so I've been back to see if they've had uh, any more and they don't have any it's a bit disappointing but um, someone else posted on Facebook the other day that they had some new collections out so I've got to go there tomorrow to get something out so I might see if they've got some other ones there because for that price you can't you can't say no really to be honest um so these photos pretty much all of Sam as usual um most of my albums are pretty much of him uh they're his kids albums they do have um fa we, I do put family stuff in there like what Frank and I are doing occasionally but most of the time it's just about Sam and what he's been getting up to. Um, the photo at the top that I've put the laugh on, I actually got, there was about 10 or 12 photos that I snapped of us two together and he was making funny faces, poking his tongue out and giving me kisses and all sorts of things. So I just picked my favourite five facial expressions and put them in a strip in the middle of the photo. I think I did it in Photoshop and just put them in the middle there because I couldn't fit five photos across the page as three by fours um, but I really really love the way that came out I am going to have to remember that particular photo and how I did that so I can do it again when I've got lots of photos of the one one scene or instance or activity and the one down the bottom I've done a collage of six different photos. Uh, I bought Sam a packet of clay, um, what is it, plasticine, and he made all these different little um, model things, a snail and a man, and I can't even remember what they all were, a brain, I think, the blue one's a brain. And again, I didn't want a whole three by four photo of each of those, because it's, it's not that relevant. Um, so I just made them into a collage and then I typed out what each of them were because he did give them all sort of names or titles and tell me what they were. And, I mean, I've already forgotten pretty much what they were. So, and that was only two months ago. I can't imagine what I thought. I would never remember it in, in two years or ten years down the track. So I just made a little note of what they were on there. And then I just got out a few cards trimmed I think I trimmed most of my photos down so that I could put them on some white card stock so they have a bit of a border because I didn't print them with a border um yeah I should have but I didn't uh February is a bit different I've gone with pretty much all black and white um embellishments and journaling cards and everything for February uh, just for something different and I really like the look of it. It's really nice and clean so you will see that Hopefully I think the first one will be coming up next week. I'm trying to get my project life's Sorry, my project life videos to come out on Every Thursday and then while I'm trying to catch up to where we are currently um, I'm doing one every every other Saturday at the moment and hopefully by the end of this month next month I can't remember I have got it written down I should be up to date with doing 
just the previous month. So in May, I should just be doing April. That's the way I've planned it. I don't know if that'll work out, but we shall see. So yeah, these ones, just mounting them on some white cardstock. I think that's actually one of the 3x4 Stamping Up cards that I've put that one on. That Sam, he was writing a letter to his Auntie Justine, who's my sister, and he was writing her, I, I love my auntie, and something like that. I can't remember what it was, but it was really, really sweet, and he wrote it out all himself. Well, copied. He told me what to write, and then he copied all my letters, which is pretty cute. And then I just added a few little tags on there. I think that said Friday or Monday or something, day of the week. And that was kind of irrelevant. So I just put, chopped that bit off and made a little journaling spot. And I can't actually remember what else I did in this. I, f I filmed this weeks ago and then I edited the video last week. And now, usually I edit them and then do the voiceover straight after, so it's fresh in my mind. But I have completely forgotten what I do in this layout, so I have no forward thought <laughs> as to what's going to happen next. So yeah, I am using the Project Life cards from Stamping Out. I really, really like them. I know I said it in my last video, I have to get some more. In fact, I might do an order as soon as I've finished doing this voiceover and I don't sure what I was looking for oh looking for some other little embellishments or tags or something that I could put on those photos I think I'm looking for something to go on the photo where Sam's eating the toast and he was making a funny face he's always making funny faces and his new thing is mummy picture me mummy picture me which is take a photo obviously and he was doing that he was sitting outside eating toast with uh with his dad and he was like picture me mummy and then as soon as I get the camera out he does a funny face so that's just him capturing Sam as he is every day and trying to use up some washing tape these ones I got I think I got these from a washi swap that we did last year sometime. I'm not sure who it was from, I can't remember. But it was it was from a swap. In fact we really should do some more of those. Hmm, I'm going to go and investigate if anyone's doing any swaps at the moment. Because they were really fun. I used to love doing those. Um I really should have edited this this part out because it's just me trying to peel some tape off page. Anyway, I got that on there. It kind of looks like um, bird footprints. That's what that tape looks like. It's gold with black, and it kind of suits the background of that picture, the wood. That's that one. And I actually don't think I finished this layout on camera. I'm fairly sure my computer had a meltdown. I have been having terrible problems with my MacBook lately. It keeps saying that I've got no memory. Like it says like, I don't know, like 40 gigs of my space on my computer hard drive is used, but I don't save anything to my hard drive. There's literally like nothing on there. And so every time I film, it backs straight up to the computer as I'm filming it. And I don't know what's happening. And then once I've filmed, I save it. And so Frank was looking at it for me the other day, and he tried for three nights in a row. He stayed up late trying to work out what the heck was going on. And then he found out that there was some sort of, with this particular model of Mac, there was um, a problem where the computer gets confused. Like if you save a file and then delete a file and save another file and delete a file, delete a file, it gets confused as to what it's deleted and what it's kept. So it just mentally keeps everything and it thinks it's used up all that space. So once he worked it out, I managed to get back 50, no, sorry, 66 gigabytes of space that was used by nothing. There was nothing there. So I am so happy because now I can record a whole video in one sitting. 
and not to have to have them broken up into like three or four, five or ten minute chunks, which has been really annoying. So I'm pretty sure the end of this video is there. It's cut off because it stopped and I didn't realize that it had stopped. Um, anyway, that's me enough rambling about my computer and my problems. I am making a filler card. Uh, I think I put it down in the bottom space where there is a little space and I really liked that. Uh, it says the little things on that tag and then the other one behind, oh, sorry, on the cardstock and then the tag behind is like vellum and it's got a gold edge on it. And I really, really love it. I love that little tag so much. And I make up this little filler card and then I don't end up using it. I really dislike how it turns out in the end. So I pulled it all apart and put all the bits back in my stash. But I just tried to um, layer a few things together to try and make a card but I don't know it just doesn't really look right to me see I don't know I think if they were just on a layout like as a cluster it would be alright but maybe it's the white background on the card I really I don't know I didn't like it each element individually I love <laughs> But together, I didn't like. I'm glad I didn't glue it and I only stapled it because I could pull all the staples out and I was able to reuse most of the um, pieces again afterwards. Oh, I did stick that one down. But that's all right. It's only one piece. At least I didn't ruin the, the pretty tag too much. And I don't really think I do much more to this layout. There's only one one card that I haven't, well, sorry, one space that I haven't filled in. And I can't remember what I put in there. I know I've been putting my my really thick embellishments, like my wood veneer and my, um, what are they called, like flare badges and stuff like that. Usually I stick them to the photo or to the card and pop them in the pocket. But this year I have decided to break the mold and I've been sticking them on the outside of the pocket. So sometimes when I take a photo, um, it's not the same as what's what I do in the layout sometimes because, yeah, I don't always take a photo while they're in the pocket. Oh, here, look, you can actually see me popping them all in the pockets. Look at that. And you don't normally get to see me do that. See, there we go. I've put the photo in and then I stuck the wood veneer on the top of the photo. And then I go through and add my journaling to this card. Um, oh, that's a photo of Sam lying on the carpet, what, getting out. He got out all of his albums and he was laying on the floor at night and just going through the mall and pointing out all the different things. He does that quite often, actually, and I usually take a photo of it every time he does it because it just makes me so happy. Um, it just makes the whole thing worthwhile, I suppose. That card was perfect for that little wood veneer. Those were some Amy Tangerine wood veneers. I can't remember what it says. Maybe it says around here. Oh no, it's just a camera. And yeah, this is how I do all my layouts when I'm using four, uh, three by four cards and I'm not using three by four pockets. I get them, get the two cards and I just washi tape them together. And then they fit in a pocket. It means that I can use pretty much a design A, design F, and design, I'm not sure, can't remember what this one is. Is this a D, an E? I actually can't remember. It means I can use about three or four different page layouts, um, which is really handy. It means I don't have to just always buy a design A or just always try and find design F pockets. Um, because you can stick them together and that works for me and I've got lots of different pages and lots of different designs so it works really really well just adding a bit more journaling to those couple of cards and I think this layout is 
pretty much done. You know what, this wash, the, using the washi tape on the back of the cards is a really good way to use up your washi. I, I have lots of washi, not as much as some people, but I do have lots of washi and I struggle to use it sometimes. So this is a really good way to use it up. And that's about it from me guys. So I will see you next week with February Project Life and yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!